up in a Christian home. Uh, my dad is a pastor, so I was always in church every Sunday and Wednesday. I grew up in the church. Um, when I was in the summer after my fourth grade year in 2010, I went to a girls only camp on Casper Mountain. And um, growing up, I never really believed anything that I was taught. Um, I knew that Jesus was real and that God was real, but I didn't really believe that he died for my sins. And I had a lot of really, really difficult questions that a lot of the adults didn't want to answer. Um, when I was on the mountain at that camp, um, it was one of the last nights of camp, and I was sitting on the back porch crying after devotions, and my counselor came out and talked to me. And um, she said, Elizabeth, I think that God is telling you that you need to accept Jesus. And so I um, accepted Jesus on the back porch of the cabin. Um, then my dad came to pick me up and he's like, what about all your tough questions? And I said, um, there comes a time where you need to forget the tough questions and just believe. And then in 2012, um, the summer before my seventh grade year, we adopted my younger brothers, and that was really, really difficult for me. Um, throughout junior high, I got bullied a lot, and there were rumors spread around the school about me. And then when we adopted my brothers, um, they we didn't really get along. And so I get bullied at school, and I come home and get bullied more. And then... Uh, there was one night where I was messing around on my computer doing things that I shouldn't be doing and I came across a website and I clicked on it and I ended up getting addicted to pornography which was a problem that lasted five years. Um, in the summer of 2018 I went to a collegiate camp conference thing um, in Oklahoma and we would go to worship in the mornings and then in the uh, afternoons we had our breakout sessions and one of the breakouts was called pornology and I was not going to go to it. I had things figured out, I was going to do things on my own, I was going to be okay. Um, but I only had two friends at the conference and so I just followed them to the pornology breakout because that's where they were going. And so um, I learned a lot. It was about, um, the struggles that girls face dealing with pornography, what the Bible says about it, and, like, ways to get out of it. Um, and so then that night I was sitting on the front porch of our cabin and Sierra, one of the girls, um, from the other group that was staying with us, came up and she's like, Elizabeth... She had seen me at the breakout, and she's like, Elizabeth, do you have anyone to help you in Wyoming? And I said, no. And so she agreed to be my accountability partner. And so she would text me every day um, when I got back. And slowly, every day turned into once a week, which turned into not at all. And I messed up a couple times. I went back to my old ways. Um, and then there was a point where I was just like, I can't do it anymore. So I called one of my good friends and I was like, um, who had struggled with it before. And I was like, I need help. I need somebody to um, get me out of this. And then, uh, so uh, he became my new accountability partner, would check in on me every day, still checks in on me every day. Um, and I have found new accountability, um, which has really helped and I'm doing much better, which is all thanks to God. Um, I remember going through it all and feeling so, so alone. Um, but I have learned throughout the past few months that you're never alone because there's always somebody out there that cares about you. And even if you feel like there isn't, God still cares about you. And I've learned a lot about forgiveness and um, I've learned a lot about forgiveness and about, uh, acceptance and, um, that no matter what you face, you're never alone. 
My name is Elizabeth and I am new.